asks us to prove that cos 3 theta over sine theta plus sine 3 theta over cos theta is equal to 2 cot 2 theta. Um, we're adding two fractions together here. So let's let's just add the fractions and, and see what happens. I'm going to times top and bottom here by cos theta times top and bottom here by sine theta. So that's going to give us cos theta cos 3 theta over sine theta cos theta plus sine theta sine 3 theta over uh, sine theta cos theta. So um, if we look at, if we add those two fractions together, What I'm thinking here is that this kind of looks like a sine a plus b, or in fact it's a cos a minus b. Um, so if we um, switch, we know that cos a minus b is cos a cos b and um, plus sine a sine b. So if my a is the 3 theta and my b is the theta, that's exactly what we've got going on here. We've got a 3 theta and a theta, a 3 theta and a theta. So that means that the top is equal to cos of 3 theta minus theta. Which is cos 2 theta. The bottom looks like a double angle formula for sine. We know that sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta, which again, we've nearly got here. We've got just sine theta cos theta, so that's a half of sine 2 theta. So we can change the bottom now, we've got on the top we've got cos 2 theta, on the bottom we've got a half sine 2 theta. If I divide a fraction by a half, that's the same as timesing the top by 2. So that's 2 cos 2 theta over sine 2 theta. And we've got a cos 2 theta over sine 2 theta, which is a cot 2 theta. So that's, that's what we were after. Cot 2 theta. 2 cot 2 theta. Okay, part B then says for the range 90 to 180, solve the the function that they gave earlier equal to 4. Obviously, we're not going to solve the way they've given it. We're going to solve the 2 cot 2 theta is equal to 4, or cot 2 theta is equal to 2, or even better, tan 2 theta is equal to a half. So if tan 2 theta is equal to a half, then 2 theta is equal to the inverse tan of a half. Inverse tan of a half, we need to make sure we're in degrees for this one. I think it was in degrees. Yeah, 90 to 180. Um, so I'm just going to put my calculator into degree mode. Inverse tan of a half is 26.56. Degrees. Um, the next one will be 180 after that, which is going to be 206.56. Uh, 
Um, the next one after that will be too big. We're going to divide these numbers by two, but the next one after that's going to be too big. So I can then divide each of those numbers by two and get to three, oh, to one decimal place. Now, accurate to one decimal place, I've saved this number into the memory of the calculator so that I can divide the real number by two, not just 26.56 by two, to make sure that I get the correct decimal place. That is 13.2825, so 13.3 degrees, or for this one, 103.3 degrees, okay? So make sure you use the, the memory in your calculators to get accurate answers for this. If you're not sure how to use the memory, then I have also made a video on that, which you can look up in the calculator tutorials. Obviously, this one's not in the, the range, so the single answer for this question is theta equals 103.3 degrees.